Imagine you're walking through Roosevelt Island, a slim stretch of land in New York's East River, bustling with the quiet hum of urban life. Below your feet, unbeknownst to many, a revolution in waste management is taking place. A complex network of underground tubes is powering one of the city's most futuristic ideas. Without a single garbage truck in sight, the trash of thousands vanishes into thin air or more accurately, into thin tubes. This isn't a scene from a sci-fi movie. It's real, it's happening now, and it's reshaping how we think about urban waste. Welcome to the pneumatic trash tube system of Roosevelt Island. Roosevelt Island, once called Welfare Island, and even before that, Blackwell's Island, has a history marked by transformation. From a place of hospitals and penitentiaries to a vibrant residential community, this island has seen it all. But today's transformation deals with something everyone generates, but no one wants to talk about. Trash. Launched in the 1970s, the pneumatic waste system here was a bold step into the future. Inspired by similar systems in Sweden, and also by the way Disney got rid of its trash, it was designed to tackle urban waste efficiently and cleanly. But how does it work? The system is surprisingly simple. Waste is disposed of by residents through ordinary looking bins connected to a vast underground network. They dump their trash in a chute, and at the flick of a switch, trash is whisked away at 60 miles per hour to a central collection facility where it's compacted and prepared for removal. This system not only eliminates the need for noisy, polluting garbage trucks, but also keeps the streets cleaner and less congested. But what's the catch? Well, like any idealistic technology, the pneumatic system has its challenges. These systems were initially used for mail delivery across cities like New York and Philadelphia in the early 1900s. Many people envisioned a future where the tubes would carry more than just mail. Some dreamed that it would one day transport humans, though at the time, this was mere science fiction. Today, companies like Hyperloop are actually working to build a tube that could transport humans at up to 745 miles per hour. But the technology remains experimental. What isn't experimental is the 40-year-old system that's underground in Roosevelt Island. The ongoing maintenance is estimated to cost $2.3 million per year. That works out to about $200 per resident per year. For the maintenance crew, the hardest part of the system is dealing with what gets sent down the chute. Sometimes objects get stuck or logged in the tubes, causing them to break. The tubes themselves are only about 20 inches wide wide, and replacing any section of it requires a lot of work. But at around $200 per resident per year, it might be worth the investment to get rid of garbage trucks, which cost about the same amount, but leave residents dealing with rats, heavy traffic, and noise pollution on garbage days. So the question is, will New York City expand this system to other boroughs? And the answer is yes, and also no. New York City is currently implementing a $32 million pneumatic trash system at the Polo Grounds development in Harlem, designed to enhance waste management for its 4,000 residents. This initiative marks the first residential pneumatic garbage system in the United States since Roosevelt Island's installation in 1975. The system will employ 1,800 feet of 20-inch wide pipe to vacuum garbage and recycling materials from four apartment buildings. This modern setup will route all collected materials to a central facility for pickup by city sanitation workers. The system is expected to alleviate the physical strain on maintenance staff, allowing them to dedicate more time to other forms of property management. It is currently scheduled to be operational by the end of 2024. However, will the city roll out a similar system in densely populated areas in Manhattan, Brooklyn, or Queens? The answer is likely no. Economically, it's a significant upfront investment. The cost to build a network of tubes alongside existing subway tunnels, gas lines, and other infrastructure would exceed the city's capital budget. Harlem's Polo Grounds doesn't have this problem. Its underground infrastructure is simple enough to undergo development without disrupting other services. I did find old plans to install a similar system in Hudson Yards by 2018, but that installation was led by a private company and there's been no update on its progress since the initial plans. 
As we conclude our exploration of Roosevelt Island's pneumatic trash system, we are reminded that sometimes the most groundbreaking innovations are those hidden from view, quietly shaping the future right beneath our feet. It begs the question, what other everyday annoyances could we eliminate with the right technology? Sometimes that requires looking back, not forward. It requires uncovering technologies we discarded half a century ago. The pneumatic tube system is just one example. It's an old idea we abandoned that still delivers cleaner, quieter, healthier streets for Roosevelt Island. Do you think the city should expand the system to all five boroughs and get rid of garbage days? What do you guys think? And from the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching.